Hey guys, my name is Stella. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on low waste items in the bathroom, specifically. Um, so things like I would I would consider like lotion, face wash, body wash, stuff like that. Um, I am not no waste. I don't know that that's ever going to be possible for me or for anyone. But maybe. I mean, I live in the city, so I feel like it's a lot harder to be super uh, like sustainable. Um, it's really hard to find certain things without packaging, um, things like that. So I try my best, but uh, these are the few things that I've found that have no packaging or packaging that I can refill or, I mean, some are still plastic, but I always make sure to recycle plastic where I can. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I have is my face moisturizer, which is just pure oil. This is jojoba oil. Um, this one's argan oil. So the th reason why I have two, which I prefer, preferred not to have more than one thing for my face, but I originally did research and this came up as like one of the better face oils. Um, doesn't clog your face, doesn't feel greasy, whatever. Mimics your natural like oil that your skin produces. So I got this. It's really good, at least for me, but the problem is it's really oily or it looks really oily at the beginning when I put it on. So if I go, which, you know, I'll take a shower before I leave for work, I go to work, my face looks like an oil slick. <laughs> so um, I didn't really like that. If I let it sit for a few hours, it's fine. So like say I take a shower later on in the day and I go to work or something, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so because of that, I ended up getting this because I ended up doing research after that. And this is actually less commodogenic, actually non-commodogenic, which means like it doesn't clog the pores at all. This is a rating of zero, where I think this one is a rating of like one or two. So this is not, this doesn't like leave that oily look on my face, so I use this in the morning and I use the jojoba oil at night. Um, I can't find a place that refills this. So this I got at Sustain LA, the oil. Um, Sustain LA is a refill station in LA. Um, and they have this, but I can't <laughs> find refills for this. If you know a place, let me know, but I, I don't think there's any place that refills argan oil. So I might just have to buy this again. This is glass, so at least I can recycle this or repurpose it. Um, or I'll find maybe like a bulk size on Amazon, so that way I can, at least I can refill it. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just stick with this and figure it out, but yeah. That's that. And this is my tea tree oil. Um, I refill this at Sustain LA. I think, I don't know if I said that the jojoba oil was No Tox Life, pretty sure. And then this is from Sustain LA, also in LA. Um, yeah, refill the bottle. Um, they have essential oils, other ones that you can fill. Not a lot. Uh, I use this with the moisturizer to kind of keep acne at bay but I don't I mean I don't have acne I don't know if I could say that's due to having like putting this on my face or I've never really had acne so it's probably just that but um, I just like this for a little extra help that's supposed to be like antibacterial something like that so I think that's what helps keep you know germs from forming pimples and stuff like that so I just add this to my moisturizer next I have my Face wash, this isn't the face wash, this is the face wash. It is um, little face bars of soap, face bar soap. Um, it's from the brand Ethique. I think this is from New Zealand. Oh yeah, New Zealand made. It, this one comes in, I think this is the newer version or like packaging. Comes in a set of five. I think it was five, yeah, five, one, yeah, five. So I still have three left, I've already been using it for like two to three months. I just started on the other one, so I find that the bar soaps actually last a lot longer than packaged soaps. That goes for body soap and hand soap and, and anything, really. So yeah, um, comes in a paper box that I can recycle. Um, this one is formulated for normal to oily skin. I do have uh, combination skin so I have an oily t-zone dry everywhere else the jojoba oils or the natural oils actually help 
a lot with that so I'm actually not noticing a lot of oiliness anymore and it seems to be kind of normal now everywhere because of that um, but this works well for my skin type I think they have other types that you can get depending on your skin type but this works really well and on the same note of soap I have this bar soap it's just a pretty one I picked to show you I got this from no Tox LA they also have like package free soaps I think that they had make themselves and they probably um, buy some too from other vendors but bar soap for hand soap and body wash right that's what I use I find that it actually lasts a lot longer than the bottled ones especially when they're triple milled which it's just like a way that it's made um, it's a lot more dense and it sticks well together so it's not like the regular like Dove soap or the store type soap that you buy where it gets really goopy or gooey um, it doesn't fall apart like that even to the last tiny bit so this is I think maybe that's why it lasts a lot longer but yeah no packaging I try to get no packaging at all so I also go to Whole Foods or Sprouts for my soap and they have the local vendor soaps there that's package free um, some might have packaging but it's like a paper box I try to stick stay away from the ones wrapped in plastic just because I don't like plastic even though you can recycle it I just don't want to go there if I don't have to um, a lot of the ones that are wrapped in plastic too though their ingredients aren't that great for some reason um, a lot of the better ingredient ones happen to be package free so next thing I have here is my body lotion um, sorry not too pretty it's almost out um, I actually started running out before we were put on lockdown for coronavirus usually I would just wait till I'm out out well that's why I'm not out yet but out out to go refill because I think it has to be clean anyway before you refill but I'm trying to learn or I've learned not to buy things before they're out just yet at the time I still had enough now I didn't so unfortunately I couldn't get this refilled um, but this was this is my lotion I was testing it out this is my first time getting a lotion refilled or filled at Sustain LA I was trying it out I really liked it would have gone back but I can't and it's been maybe like a month and a half so unfortunately I did have to buy this which is the lotion I was using before I started doing like no low waste package free refill items this is the value size which I didn't realize they had until I had to look for it again I got the like regular size but um, I got this size because at least it's gonna last me longer so I'm not throwing away things as fast but yeah so this is what I have right now but if it wasn't for for the situation I would be refilling this <laughs> and here I have this um, the box this container is filled with cotton swabs from the company humankind it's bamboo stem cotton swabs so the bamboo is supposed to be better um, more sustainable production of bamboo I guess but I did more research and it's actually not that as sustainable as they make it seem so I might not be buying this again um, I might look into the last swab which is a reusable silicone swab I just didn't like the idea because it, it's there's just something about the cotton and cotton swabs it really cleans your ear so I did didn't want to like lose the cleaning power um, but yeah that's this next I have these mouthwash tablets um, I might not buy these again or just mouthwash tablets in general because I don't, you don't really need mouthwash um, you can just clean your tongue with a tongue cleaner or not even like a spoon just scrub your tongue really well um, I used to like the feeling of the freshness from mouthwash but it's not necessary if it's not necessary then I really don't need it but um, these were okay it's not as minty as a mouthwash like a regular mouthwash is but you don't waste water you waste less packaging it is a plastic container I think maybe like acrylic which I'm pretty sure is still plastic somehow I don't know. but um, it's refillable so they just send me a little sachet um, of more tablets and I just put it in here so that was good humankind is a company that or a brand company brand that 
does a lot of refill, no waste items. Online only, I believe. So you can check them out. The next thing I have is my floss. This is a silk floss, which is really hard because silk comes from silkworms. Um, you're not guaranteed that they are the silk is harvested from the silkworms humanely or whatever it's called. Um, this company, which is Tree Bird, um, says they are humanely or sustainably and sustainably harvested from the silkworm, which means that the silkworm would, I think, have to die naturally and then they take their silk. Some companies or places will boil the silkworm alive, so they say they don't. This was a matter of, like, sus uh, sustainability for the earth or, like, humane ways of doing stuff for the animal. I know it's a bug, but I don't care. So, yeah. Glass container, refillable. You can buy just the floss or silk by itself. This opens up and you can just refill it when you're done. I'm probably not going to buy it again because I do have tight teeth so the at least the places that that need attention are really tight and this just doesn't work for those spots because it frays so because it's you know natural and it's more fibrous i guess uh, i don't know it just breaks so i might not buy this again either i'll find a different one that's sustainable or low waste or i might just go back to um regular floss it's really hard because it has to be a matter of my health too or how it works for me and if it's not doing the job then that's not good I don't want my teeth falling out <laughs> um, for hair care right now I did try um, Ethique's um, like shampoos and they have conditioners I think it's because I have really hard water um, you won't notice this too with a lot of normal store packaged or store items because I feel like the ingredients that they have in there are kind of meant to not combat but go well with like hard water because they want you to it, they want you to think that the the product feels good in your hair so there's a lot of silicones in um, regular hair care products and body products so that it feels like smooth but it's just the silicone so I'm having a little hard time with these because they feel kind of squeaky and they feel like stripping to my hair so I'm not really sure if it's my water or if it's actually the product but it's a good idea um, I have right now I'm not using them I have I again like if my hair is gonna look like poo I don't really want that so I'm not going to con consistently use a product that's going to make me not feel good. It's going to, you know, like, nobody likes frizzy hair. Nobody likes dry hair. Um, it doesn't make you feel good. So right now I have bulk um, shampoo and conditioner. But again, bulk. So I'm not throwing things away as fast as I normally would if I had, like, smaller items. Plus, if you're going to use the same thing, um, why would you not want a big... <laughs> bottle um i don't really change my hair care so no need to get a smaller size that's all that i've really kind of switched up from like normal things i used to have liquid body soap which most of all my stuff before i did package free or less packaging was still natural but natural items you know like the things you can find in whole foods they still come in packaging so I've, these are the things that I've switched from like no packaging to less packaging in the bathroom. Um, the o oh, the only thing that I still have that's in plastic packaging is toothpaste because my teeth are really sensitive and I need fluoride. Um, and there's like no toothpaste tablets that have fluoride in them. Everything's like fluoride free, SLS free. Um, no, but I need it. And I did find one that had fluoride, but it was on Etsy, and it didn't ship to um, to the U.S. So, 
there's that. If you if you know of any toothpaste tablets that have fluoride that I can get in California, let me know. But that's probably one of the only things I can think of that a lot of people try to find an alternative for. And that's just not something that I can do right now until I have a really good option to switch it to. But yeah, I mean, I'm not perfect. It's this is not going to be like a, like I said, this is not going to be like no waste at all. Like I'm, there's going to be some stuff, but at least I'm being more uh, thoughtful about my habits and what I bring in and how I use things. I actually really love refilling items. I think it's fun going to the shop, feeling like I'm doing a little something for the environment. So yeah, those are the things that I've done to incorporate low waste in my bathroom. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for me, any places I could check out. I'm in LA uh, or anything online maybe. I've been to Sustain LA, I've been to No Talks Life, I've been to the refill shop in Ventura County. Um, if there's anything else, let me know. Coming up with other things that I could possibly film, so I would love to see you in the next video. Thank you.